Hey everybody. Many of you guys are using ratchet mechanisms and um, thought I would put a video up showing what we've got here. We got a one-way ratchet mechanism. It was inspired by the recoil start on a uh, lawnmower. And it's very simple, but it works very well. It's very reliable and very strong. And it's nothing more, there's no rubber bands involved. It's nothing more but some aluminum that's been cut. It's held in place with a bolt and a nut. There's enough slack here for it to wiggle slightly. And it's been bent this way just a little bit to help it engage with the pieces on the bigger gear here. You slide them together. The whole thing is very compact. And there you go. The benefits of this are um, it's very compact. It's extremely strong. Stronger probably than the Paul mechanisms with the rubber bands. You don't have to fool with the rubber bands. You don't have to worry about rubber bands breaking. And I don't know. It's simple and reliable. So it's uh, maybe it'll help you in your uh, in your robot building. I don't see why it wouldn't be possible also to have another piece of metal facing the opposite direction with another gear on this side and then you've got your two-way mechanism. This gear one direction, this gear the other direction with this gear sandwiched in the middle of them nice and compact and neat. So. Uh, oh, I know the other thing I was going to say. Benefits, the f you hear it clicking a little bit, but that's just it tapping as it goes around. So as far as frictional losses when it's running in reverse, it's when it's freewheeling, uh, you should see significantly less frictional losses when it's freewheeling, running in reverse. And that's it. Thanks.